All right, guys, thought I'd bring you outside in the backyard. It is 92 degrees out. This thing's been sitting in the sun. I did set my tripod up today, boo. Now, I did four cooks on this brand new Pit Boss Lexington Onyx Edition. My last cook, it shot up to 300. And, you know, it overshot, I put it on 250, it shot up to 300. You know, Facebook group said you're not supposed to use them in the sun. I don't know if you can read that, but it's a 142 sitting out here in the blazing hot sun. Now, my other pit boss here, under the cover here, that one works fine no matter what. No matter what the temperature is outside. Now, I cleaned this thing out. How many pallets we got? We got some pallet. I'm gonna start this thing up now. They say you're supposed to start it up on the smoke cycle, but the instructions say you don't have to. But yeah, right, we're gonna start it up on the smoke cycle. Well, I'm gonna change the P setting down to four. I turned it up to seven, trying to bring the temp down. Yeah, you see that? Let me push that button again. Push that button again. All right, we're at 125 already. Go find something to put this camera on. I will put. I just we'll sit there and watch this go up. I'll speed it up for you guys. Hey, I mean, I'll get a bucket. Hey, folks, we're we'll picking that up. I can't see what you're seeing, so let's hope it shows up. When I edit this video, I will speed this part up, alright? I want to see if it overshoots. We're going to leave it on 180. I better open the lid. There we go. Leave it on 180 till all the smoke disappears. It's already starting to smoke. I seem to have a nice fast start up though. And then I bring you back, show you the trouble I've been having. If the camera don't pick that up, oh well, I'll just have to tell you.
As you can see folks, it overshot the temperature to 285 degrees on a hot day. Same thing it was doing yesterday on me. Hey, let me pull the camera up off the little thing. I hope you picked that up. I can't tell in this hot sun. Get my temperature gauge. We are 97 degrees outside, if you can see that. I got the probe hanging here. This is showing at 200 and 38, 224. Let's check these wall on the back. This painted black. Black in the hot sun. I feel sorry for people in Texas have one of these things. Now I'm gonna come out again tonight or tomorrow morning when it's cool. I'm gonna do the same test and we'll see what happens. Alright guys. Alright, I'll see you guys either tonight, probably in the morning. I do it come out here early in the morning and fire it up. Alright, see you tomorrow, folks. Alright guys, here we are very next morning. No sun shining. We'll cover this beast. It is 64 degrees out. We're gonna try this again, folks. See if it overshoots on a cold morning. <coughs> the pot has been cleaned out. We'll double check the probe. This is a brand new pit, so this shouldn't be that dirty. When I will check, I want to make sure I have. Oops, sorry about the noise, folks, but I want to make sure I have this diffuser plate on right. Sometimes heat will escape up here. Alright. That looks good. Alright. I'm gonna put a pork butt on this today, 4th of July. Now I'll have to use the old the old gal. Okay, we're gonna come back down here again. Hit start. We're still at the P4180. Right here. We'll let that roll. I'll fast forward this on eight times. We'll see how it goes. When the smoke clears, we will shut the lid and turn it up to 275. That's what I'm cooking my pork butt on today. Alright, fast forward time.
Well, this thing's been uh, staying right there. So I would suggest leaving this out of the direct sunlight, keep it under a canopy or somewhere under a shade tree or something. Today's the 4th of July. I'm gonna monitor this all day. I put my pork butt in. It's gonna be out in direct sunlight and I'll keep an eye on it and I'll report back to you how it did. Hey guys, the sun's hitting it pretty good. And you see we got an outdoor temperature around 81. I just got the probe hanging outside here. But that's pretty accurate, about 80, 82. I thought, well, at 275, it works fine. But you can see as I put it to 250, it won't stay at 250, it rises to 300. Any other temperature, it works. I thought I'd bring you out. That's really strange. See, I put it on 250 and it's already climbing to 300 instead of going down. Now let's change it to back up to 275 and see what happens. We'll see if this baby drops down. Well, it stopped climbing. Let me open the lid and let go. Oh, there we go. You're dropping down to 280. It seems to not like 250 for some reason. I open that up for just a second to let some heat out. Very strange. It's not like, there we go. It went right down to 275. And it's staying there. Leave a comment down below if you have an answer to this problem. See, 275. All right, let's go down to 225 and see what happens. Look at it, it's starting to go up immediately. As soon as I change temperature, it goes right up. And out in the hot sun now, folks. Now, this morning I left it on all day. This is very strange, folks. Anyone got an answer to this? Please leave in the comments. I want to know what's going on here. <coughs> Open the lid. Let's let some heat out. And it should start dropping. I think I'm going to drill a hole in my door, put a lid thermometer in there. I need to know what's going on there. But I mean, maybe I can hook up one of these things, check the internal temperature of that. Hang on, folks. Let's see if I can get that in there. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I added a thermostat to my potato. It was not touching any metal. That's what you want. And the internal temperature. We'll watch it go up, folks. I turned it down to 220. It seems to like go to every 270 to only 220. Sorry, ah, been a long day. 275 seems to be the only number that it likes to stay at. Right now, it wants to climb. I still on the P4 setting. Out in the sun again. Just climbing right back up, folks. I had no idea why it's going there. This old gal here, the old Lexington, it don't do that. You put it on temperature, it stays in. Mm. The old pit boss quality, I guess. I should have bought an old one. <laughs> well, I'm going to try to get a hold of Pit Boss, see if they'll send me out another control one. If anybody got Pit Boss's contact information, leave it down in the comment for me. Right now at 193. No matter what piece I think I put it on the other day, it, it didn't affect the temperature any. Now 
instead of going up to 300 it leveled off. Oh, now it's starting to climb again. I don't know, but kind of hard to make barbecue anyway when you can't hold temperature. Hmm. Open the door. Let some heat out. Temperature's not dropping on the gauge, it's dropped on my probe, but not on the digital computer readout. I don't know, folks, it's kind of irritating. Until they can fix these controllers, I stay away from buying a big fancy one. Unless there's a, some information out there on how to correct this problem, I don't recommend this grill to nobody. Where's that 220? The probe's going up to 225. 227. That probe's pretty accurate. As far as the outdoor temperature went. It is bright and sunny out here today. He's going to climb right up to I'm going to climb right up to 255, I bet. I guess I'll be always cooking at 275 to 300 of anything I put in here. <laughs> so far, I, this has been a hunk of junk so far. It turned out some good food at the first three cooks. I have to put it back in the garage. Maybe it just don't like hot sun. That's not a bad idea, folks. You can probably move it under the shade tree. Try it again. Want me to do that, folks? Give it a fair chance. The sun right now is beating on it. She's climbing right up there. Alright, I'm going to close this video down. I'm going to move this out in the shade and see if it helps. Alright guys, I moved it under my shade tree, the big old pine tree, it's in the shade, out of direct sunlight. It did drop 5 degrees, I left it plugged in, I didn't shut it down. Hey, what's going on with my chicken? Oh, my dog. That's my new dog, Weber. He likes playing with chicken. Anyway, back here. Drop to 60 and I put it in the shade. The probe is at 254. Maybe it's a shade thing. Let me open the lid, let some heat out. See if we can get it to drop down to 220. The probe and everything is still fine, I ain't touching any metal. back up five degrees when I open the lid. Probably trying to recover that heat that's losing it. This is dropped down. I'll let this run a couple more minutes and I'll shut her down. Might turn this down to I would like to see this drop down to 245, then I know I'm going in the right direction. And definitely out of the sun. Definitely under a shade tree, folks. Come on, Bubby, drop down to 245. I 
it is good to know before you go buy one of these the trouble you might have if you live in a in Texas where you leave these out in direct sun and leave it in a garage or under a canopy maybe not sure if that's the problem but so far that seems to be all indication it's not climbing and it's not going down either let's take this down to 180 the P setting still at 4 open the lid and let some heat out now they both should start dropping a little bit the probe is dropping like it's supposed to there we go that one's starting to drop Now if it starts going back up, then, then it's not a sun issue. I'm just holding my phone. I didn't bring out my camera. Hope you're picking this up. Probe's going crazy. Starting to walk off, going up, down. doing right oh there we go it's starting to drop down all right folks I'm gonna shut this off so the video don't get too long I'll come back when it when it levels out to wherever it's supposed to be okay all right guys on 180 P4 when I had it on P4 it went down to 215 and stayed there it wouldn't drop any farther Excuse me, I had a beer today. So I took it up to P5, I waited a half hour, and it dropped down to 200. All right. It's pushing 80, probably 80 degrees out right now, 84. I'm gonna go up, you wanna go up too fast with these numbers they say, it'll cause the fire to go out. I'm gonna go up one more number. So if you go higher, higher, it slows the auger down, doesn't feed as many pellets. All right, we're gonna go up one more to six. All right, and I'll bring you back if it drops down, drops down closer to 180, all right? I'll report back to you. All right, guys, on a P6, it settled down to 185. About 200 on grate level. All right, now, the P6, right there, there's 180, drop down to 180. All right, now, let's take this up to 250 in the shade on a P setting of P6 and see if it overshoots. All right, P setting of P6, I'll bring you right back and let you know if it overshoot or stayed at the temperature we put it at. It's in the shade, 86 degrees out under my shade tree. Putting out a ton of smoke though, folks. This thing is definitely a smoker. All right, we'll be right back, folks. Okay, we brought it up to 250. It just hit 250. Now we're gonna see if it climbs up from there. We're at 248 on the great level. So that's pretty consistent to that. So far, we go back to the old saying, it's keep these out of the sun. <coughs> And adjust that P setting for hot days. All right, boy, I'm I'm learning this just like you guys are, folks. I'm gonna have to do another video in a couple of days on that P setting. All right, we'll be right back. I'll let you know if it climbs. All right, folks, that is it. I've been leaving, watching it for a half hour, and it hasn't moved. This thing's 250, 257. 256, pretty darn close. I, I can live with five degrees off. Ooh. Ooh, beer tastes good today on a hot day. But this is my conclusion, folks. If you buy one of these, run it in the shade. 
adjust the P setting to P6 in the shade. Now, I'm going to do a whole video on this P setting, and we're going to talk about that more in depth. It's a learning curve, folks. This pit is definitely a learning curve. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you, and look forward to more videos on this pit, all right? If you could do me a favor, watch this video through or just let it run. Not so I can make more money. It's because the more view time I get on my Lexington videos, the more YouTube will show it to all you Lexington owners. All right, folks? Not to make me money. If you don't want to watch the whole thing, just let it run. All right, thanks, and you'll get to see more of my videos faster. Thank you.